girl is about to be working at Sephora. <music> Hey girl, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Raquel. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe so you can be notified every single time that I post a video. But as you can already see by the title of today's video, I'm going to be bringing you guys a soft glam tutorial. Um, I've done like neutral tutorials before, but I want to like glam the eye up a little bit more. This tutorial is going to be very simple. And I think I mentioned this before. I don't really care for like the glitter dramatic looks. So it's not going to be anything like that, but it is going to be a little bit more than what I normally do. Um, so yeah, make sure that if that's something that you're interested, you watch all the way to the end. And as you can see as well, your girl got her hair did. Well, I did this myself and I actually showed you guys how I did this or achieved this look in yesterday's video. So if you have not seen that yet, make sure that you pause this video right now and go check that one out and then come back to this one. But yeah, as you guys already see, my brows are pretty much done as well. I did those off camera just because brows take a different type of focus. And I've said that before. And yeah, I just be needing them to look, you know, the part and cooperate with me. So I'd be having to do those off camera. But I figured... In today's video, while I'm doing this, I'm going to pretty much just chat with you guys and update you guys on everything that's happening um, with me so far, my personal life, and all of those things. So, yeah, I'm going to just be talking while doing this, but, but yeah, let's get right into this video. <clears throat> so for my brows, I'm just going to pretty much tell you guys what I used. I'm going to link everything down below as well. And if you have any questions, make sure to drop them down in the comments. But I ended up using the NYX Cosmetic um, Brow Pencil. And this is in the shade Ash Brown. I also use my Anastasia Brow Freeze Gel. And I showed you guys this before. Love that. And then to conceal or carve my brows, I ended up using Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tape Concealer. And that is in the shade... Uh, medium honey so that's pretty much all I use on my brows to get them to look how they be looking but because today's video is going to require a little bit more eyeshadow I think I am going to start with my eyeshadow first normally I like to do my eyeshadow at the end and that's just whenever I'm doing like a basic just brown on my lid um, I honestly just save it for the end because I'm not doing much other than just putting a brown shadow on. But for the sake of today's video and the look that I am trying to achieve, we're going to do the eyeshadow first. Yeah, excuse how these palettes look. They look crazy, okay? I'm going to just say that. But it's because I've had them for a while. I do need to re-up on makeup, but... We'll do that, you know, soon. And I'm also going to end up using the Too Faced Sparkling Pineapple Eyeshadow Palette. And this palette smells so good, but it has a lot of, like, neutral colors in it. So I'm going to end up using this as well. But So the shade that I'm going to go in with first is going to be... I think I'm going to go in with Raw Sienna from the Modern Renaissance palette and I'm just going to apply that color all over my lid and then I'm going to blend it out and I love the Anastasia eyeshadows because they are super pigmented I'm going to pretty much apply that on both eyelids. I'm going to blend it out as much as I can. But yeah, so while I'm doing that, let me update you guys on everything that's been happening. So I told you guys before that my full-time job is teaching. So out here in Atlanta, school is pretty much out. Well, some schools are. I work for a charter school, which is part of the Atlanta Public School District. 
So our last day of school was on Friday. So I am officially off of work. I do have a training that I need to go to in June and that's gonna be in Chicago and that's gonna be a week long. So I guess I'll be working during that time. But for the most part, I don't have to go into work and actually teach Monday through Friday for the next six weeks, which is really nice. So I'm super excited about that. Um, what else is happening? I am going to I am going to be going home this Friday and home is pretty much just back to New York, well upstate New York. But I am gonna be going back home this Friday and I'm not gonna be out there for too long. I'm literally just gonna go for three days to spend some time with my family and then attend an event that I got invited to out there but while I'm out there I will be vlogging I do want to do some things with like my sisters and my brother probably go get some food go out to eat and then I also do want to take my niece out as well while I'm out there so I'll definitely be vlogging everything that I do for you guys so that you guys can be in the loop of what is happening and then after that, what else do I have planned? I mentioned before I'm going on vacation, obviously, but that's happening in July. Um, but that's pretty much that. The big news though, or the big update, I guess, that I have is that your girl is about to be working at Sephora, which is super exciting. <clears throat> All of my friends uh, keep telling me that I need to start doing makeup and that I'm pretty good at it and that if I was to practice or do it on my friends and family and stuff, I would become even better. So they have encouraged me to apply to Sephora and like just a makeup job in general. But I'm going to start working there soon and my first day there is going to be on Monday, which is... The 30th i believe yeah the 30th and that's on memorial day so i don't know if i'm gonna be working like a full shift they just told me to come in um around 11. so we're gonna see what is you know what they're gonna have me do but now i'm gonna pretty much go in with the color island queen and it's this brown color right here i'm applying this i'm pretty much just packing this i guess on the corner or like the end part of my eye right here as you can see and then just like blending it out into the crease and I'm going to do that on both sides All right, so now I'm gonna go in with a darker color and I'm gonna go to my subculture palette and I'm gonna use the shade or the color fudge. And this color is really pigmented, so I'm just gonna slowly build this up on the corners and blend it out. All right, so I'm um, pretty much done with the brown. I like to make sure that both eyes kind of look the same. So if one side is like more darker than the other, I try to just match them. This is what it looks like so far. But Going back to the Sephora job, I'm really excited for it. My role is going to be beauty advisor, so pretty much if people want to come in to get their makeup done, I would be helping them or I would be doing it for them. Or if they want to come in for these like mini sessions that we offer where you pay like $30 and we could show you like how to do your brows or how to apply blush or lashes or eyeshadow like little focus 
sessions, I guess, on whatever you want the focus to be. I'm gonna be doing that. I did tell them that, you know, I've never done makeup on other people. I mean, I have, but it's been like family and friends, not like actually do makeup on others, you know, if that makes sense, but I told them that, you know, I'm willing to learn and I want to learn, so they're going to slowly help me build up to that where I can eventually just do everything on my own, which is super exciting because once I become comfortable, I guess, with doing people's makeup, I'm going to eventually just start taking clients outside of Sephora. So now I'm going to go towards the front of my eye right here and I'm going to apply a lighter shade. I think I'm going to start with the shade Pineapple Cooler, which is this one right here. It looks pretty white, but I'm going to start off with this. And I'm gonna just pat it in on my eye. And yeah, I cannot wait until, oh yeah, I didn't mention this, but I mean, I've talked about it before in previous videos, but I'm also going to be moving. There's like so much stuff happening this summer, like new job, traveling, moving, and just, yeah, just a lot. So that means that I'm gonna be bringing you guys a bunch of content. But yeah, gonna be moving this summer in July once I come back from vacation. So that's like super exciting because it's gonna be a bigger space, which is gonna let me just create the type of content that I want. And it's just gonna allow me to have like better quality and stuff. So I'm really, really, really excited about that. And then I get to like get new furniture and decorate everything. So I'm going to definitely be bringing you guys a bunch of videos on like home decor and setting up stuff and setting up my content room and all of that. So definitely be on the lookout because I'm about to be bringing you the content, okay? So you need to make sure that you are subscribed because you're not gonna wanna miss what's happening over on this side. Okay. So like I mentioned before, I don't really, I don't really be wearing eyeshadow like that, but I'm trying to bring ya the tutorials, okay? I'm trying to bring ya the different looks. That's what we gonna do. It's gonna be so much free stuff that I probably won't even be able to use all of it, which means that I will definitely be doing some makeup giveaways. I think that I'm gonna do one probably once I hit a thousand subscribers. I'll do a giveaway and it'll most likely be makeup for the first one and you know, as the channel grows, then we'll start doing gift cards and stuff like that. But if you're a makeup girl and that's what you like, make sure that you subscribe so that when that time comes for me to do the giveaway, you can definitely be entered in it. All right, so my eyes are pretty much done. So now I'm gonna just start doing my face. And you guys know, if you've seen the other videos, you already know how I do my face. I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. What is this called? Power Grip. I always wanna say Hydro Grip because it's just like the milk one, but this is the Power Grip primer and I love this primer it's pretty much almost done but now that I work at Sephora your girl is gonna end up getting the hydro grip one if I don't get it for free I'm probably just gonna buy it but I'm gonna rub this in really well I'm going to go ahead and start applying my foundation I always apply it with a brush first and then I blend it out with the beauty blender 
So I'm gonna apply that all over. Blend it now into my skin with the Beauty Blender and I literally just pat it in evenly all over. Dang, I wanted to shave my mustache and I totally forgot. So now I'm going to go in. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna go in with my concealer and I'm just gonna put it, you know, in the areas that we conceal, which is right here, the forehead. I'm gonna take what I have on my arm. Right here under the eye, because we love a bright under eye, okay? There we go, I need a little bit more. Alright, so now I'm going to blend this concealer out with my Beauty Blender. Alright, it's looking great. So now I'm going to go in and set my face with the one and only Huda Beauty and this um, powder is in the shade Banana Bread which I love so much and I put this on all the areas that I highlighted I'm gonna go ahead and start brushing or dusting the excess off all right now I'm gonna go in with my bronzer and I'm pretty much just going to apply this <clears throat> on my jawline, my cheeks, and then, or right here on my cheek area, and then on my forehead. All right, now I'm going to go in with the Black Renaissance Contour Palette, and I'm going to use the shade Sculpt first, and I'm going to go over all the areas that I applied my bronzer. All right, girls, so this is the final look. This is what it's giving. Let me know in the comments right now if you guys are feeling this look. So that's that. And it's pretty much, again, just like a subtle, chill, but more glam type of look. Like, this is definitely more so if I'm going out. And if you see the wet lash glue, <clears throat> don't mind that. I just put these lashes on so yeah they're still wet i have to let them dry but i ended up doing my lips obviously and the contour and the rest of everything off camera for my lips i ended up using the nyx um fortune cookie butter gloss i also used the nyx lip liner and this is in the shade nude truffle nude truffle this is like my go-to <clears throat> for mascara i use Too faced better than sex and then for lipstick i ended up using a mac lipstick and it's in the shade cream de nude i've used this one before and regular eyeliner nyx eyeliner as well setting spray was morphe which i have to re-up but that's pretty much it the lashes are from eunice like i actually got these lashes for free in um with the hair that i ordered a while ago and i love these lashes like they are perfect they're super voluminous and they just um make my eyes pop i'm just gonna keep wearing these until i end up getting my lashes done which should be soon but yeah so that's that that's the end of this video if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like and also make sure to leave a positive comment down below also let me know what other type of videos you guys want me to drop for you guys and of course don't forget to subscribe so you can be notified every single time that i upload a video but thank you for watching